Hey guys, it's Wilma, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a art vlog, showing you guys a art piece that I made recently. If you follow me on social media, you have probably seen it. Um, but yeah, I thought that I would just show the process. This is gonna be a little art vlog, as I said, and I'm just gonna show you, you know, what I've been up to and whatnot. So yeah. Listen, man. First of all, we're doing this drawing. Um, I'm gonna show a bit of that process. So I did this piece with four hands and I'm doing the first hand right here. And I fucking love to draw hands. I think it's so much fun. This hand was so much fun. Like it's so expressive. And also the hand is like of someone playing the guitar. And I just really had such a blast drawing this. I usually always have a blast drawing hands, but this one was like so much fun. I also love the tones in this hand. There's a lot of cool tones, but then it's still kind of like pink tones slash beach, beach tones. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I usually love to do a lot of undertones, which I might talk a little bit more about, but yeah. Uh, it was a very good start to the whole drawing and I didn't really have a plan on what I wanted to do in the beginning But I'm gonna figure it out as we go. Anyway, this is the first hand. I love it a lot. Um, so yeah Hi, okay, what's up? How are you? Today, today is Monday, um, no, November, oh my god, it's November, November 16th, and I'm gonna work on some more art. I had, like, the latest start to my day today, and it's currently 9pm, um, so it's a really late start to my art session today, but it's okay, we can do this. So yeah, we're just gonna continue on this one. I am so fucking inspired today. I also brought some snacks, I got cashews and then um oops that's oh my god that looks nasty i got some mango raspberries and passion fruit and then i also have some tea so yeah i'm gonna keep going with this piece now and i am loving this so fucking much like look at those colors oh my god anyway time to make art let's freaking do it so for the second hand, it has like a lot more warm tones. It's very like yellow kind of um, mm, tones. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when I do hands, I love to do a lot of undertones. I feel like that really makes the skin tone look more alive. And I just really like to use a lot of colors. So yeah, this hand was a little bit difficult to draw because the finger tops were like cut off in the image. So I couldn't see them. So I kind of had to like wing it and like try to paint finger tops so this hand might not be the best one out of them all it actually might be the worst one but i had a lot of fun with it it was a little bit difficult to like get the fingers in the right angle if that makes sense like the kind of correct bend of them i don't know sometimes that's kind of hard with drawing hands also people seem to think you're literally a magician when you can draw hands <laughs> like whenever i post my hand drawings people are like oh my god i'm so jealous of people who can draw hands and honestly i kind of feel that because it can be very difficult but i don't know i really enjoy drawing them a lot and i don't know why really i think it's just like a lot of color shifts and i don't know like interesting value stuff i don't really know anyway this is how that hand turned out and now it's time to pause to do a little bit of a art supplies haul hello okay it's a new day and i got some art supplies and i thought that i would show you guys what i got because that's fun honestly i don't even remember what i got i do remember some stuff or maybe i remember all of it maybe I'm just gonna open it up what in the oh right okay got a bunch of stuff let's see oh my god i'm so excited okay so first off i got a sketchbook because mine is almost done i'm gonna open this i actually have never used this one before so we're gonna see if the papers are good Ooh, yeah this is nice okay well there's 124 pages. Holy shit. Okay, but well that's very nice. Next up, I got a little watercolor, the aquarelle paint from Windsor Newton, a white one. 
very basic. Then in here we have I got some gloss varnish from Winsor Newton for my acrylic paintings. I've never tried varnish, var varnish, is that how you say it? Hopefully. So yeah, I'm really excited to see if it works. Well, it's probably gonna work, but like, I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. So I got that and then we have a um, scraper. So this is just for paintings. If I want to do like some cool texture or something, it's like that. It's kind of sharp actually. This is dangerous. Um, but yeah, a scraper for my paintings. <laughs> and then I got some Arches watercolor paper. So I have heard so much about this paper. It's supposed to be really good and I'm about to do a commission like right now. So I wanted to get some high quality paper and I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna open it up to see what it looks like. Ooh, kind of feels like the one that I was already using to be honest. Well, I'm excited either way. This packaging is so nice. Look at those colors and like the little pattern and everything. I'm a fan. Anyway, then the last thing that I got is more, more, more aquarelle paper from Canson. Ooh. I thought that I would just try out a few different ones. I was already using the Winsor Newton watercolor paper. So now we have some different plants and everything and I thought that that would be interesting. So yeah, I'm very excited. Well, those are, sorry, those are all of the things that I got. I am gonna go make a commission now, probably. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Okay, so I did end up going to do the commission, but I'm gonna show that in my next video. Anyway, moving on to the third hand. I love this one, the, like, the colors in this one is just chef's kiss. It was pretty like simple for me to make this. This one was probably the easiest out of them all. I really enjoyed all of them, honestly, but I don't know, I think it's like a very interesting um, angle and kind of like way of holding the hand. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest. Anyway, moving on to the next hand. This one is very like, I get like very delicate vibes from this one. It has like very soft pink tones and the gesture of it is just very relaxed and delicate. And um, I don't know, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. <laughs> anyway, this one was also a lot of fun. All of them were super fun. Um, we're getting towards the end, but basically I like the whole meaning of this painting. It's There's meaning in it, but I do enjoy, as I've said before, when people can interpret my pieces in their own ways. So it's basically just about like love and care and I don't know. <laughs> anyway, in the middle I did a heart to kind of like further symbolize what I wanted to say with the drawing. Um, and then I started doing this kind of like light purple background but I didn't like that so yeah I'm just gonna insert a few clips here of me talking about that and whatnot. Can this like actually be straight? Come on. Okay well that's gonna have to do. So as you guys saw I painted this um the background in like this kind of bright purple color and I've decided that I don't like it so I'm back I did that yesterday um, I'm gonna try to like do a white background because I think that with this color of the background it just kind of like takes over the purple tones in the hands so I I'm just gonna try to paint it white Hopefully that will work out. I also have like a lot of stuff that I need to get done today. I need to put up a video and before that I need to actually finish the edit. And then I need to make a commission. Then I need to film and I also have a call with a friend, a fellow artist later about a collab. Um, I think that was all. 
yeah, so I need to get some stuff done. So we're gonna stop talking and actually start trying to save this piece. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so I was definitely being a little bit dramatic when I said that we needed to save this piece because like it wasn't looking bad, I just needed to fix the background, just do a very simple <laughs> background change. So that's what I did. My original plan was actually to do a structured, um, textured white background, so it's like okay that I had to do this, you know, like I'm not upset about it. Um, and I definitely think that it looked a lot better with a textured white background instead of doing like a simple white background, like not painting it at all, if that makes sense. But yeah, as I said, with the light purple background, it kind of just like didn't make the colors in the hands pop enough and there wasn't enough contrast. But then when I added the white background, there was like that contrast that I was missing. So yeah, I'm really happy that I did that. Um, after I did that, I was like, okay, now it feels complete. Anyway, I am super happy with it and yeah, that's about it. Okay, so I've done one layer of white paint and you can't really tell on camera probably, but you can see the shade of bright purple a little bit but i don't know if i maybe i should keep it like that i'm not sure or maybe i will do another layer i have no idea anyway yeah i don't know i'm tired as fuck <laughs> look at this weather guys this is whoa it's so blue <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so I'm done with this art piece now. I like it a lot more now that the background is white. Anyway, oh my god, my voice, my voice. So I'm gonna go home now and I need to edit my video and upload that. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and make more art. I don't even know where I'm filming with this camera, honestly. Anyway, let's go home.